Hi guys, it is Saturday night and I am coming to you to share this week's message and I thought that I would share a message just with a little bit of a story about something special and something about fall and I was thinking about what could I give a story about today and I was doing a lot of stuff with apples today and I ate a couple of apples and I had apples with caramel dip and I had apples with sprinkles on them. I went to a little bit of a, an apple party. And so I started thinking, hmm, wonder if there's any lessons that God could give us with an apple. And I thought back to when I was a kid and one of my favorite Berenstein Bear stories was the story about two, um, being too smart for strangers. And in that story, it talked about how um, an apple can look really, really good on the outside and on the inside, it can be rotten and nasty, but an apple that's all gnarly looking could be the sweetest, most delicious and most juicy apple that you've ever eaten. And so it talked about not being deceived by the out, not being deceived by something's outward appearance. So I thought about that and I thought, well, that's a really good lesson that God would give us. But I wonder if God has something else for us to know in the apple. And then I thought back to a story that I had heard from one of my Bible teachers a long time ago about the secret that God had hidden inside, inside the apple. Did you know that God gives each of us a special gift? And in the book of Romans, chapter 12, it tells us that God has created different gifts according to the grace that he has given us. So let me tell you a little bit of a story about the gift that God gives us inside an apple. So this is a parable, which is like what Jesus told in the in the New Testament, in the Gospels. This is a parable, which means it's a story that has a lesson. So once upon a time, there was an apple tree, which God had created. And it was a young tree without any leaves or fruit. And one night, this young apple tree saw the beautiful, brilliant stars and was unhappy. He wished for himself to have those sparkling stars on his branches so that he too would be beautiful. The next morning, God noticed that the tree was unhappy. And he said to him, let me make something for you. I will dress you up in a beautiful mantle of green so that you will be beautiful to behold. Then you will not be so unhappy. So God did that. But the tree wasn't content with God's plan. The tree said, I don't want a mantle of green. I want stars. The next morning, the tree saw that God had not given him stars, but the green leaves and the tree frowned. Once again, the tree said to God, I want stars. But instead, God gave him beautiful red fruit. The tree was even more unhappy. And the wind saw how unhappy that apple tree was. And the wind became unhappy and mad too. The wind blew and tried to set the apple tree free of all those leaves and the fruit. But the wind failed. However, as the wind blew, some of the leaves and the fruit fell to the ground, and one piece of fruit broke into two right in the middle. And so I have an apple, and I'm going to cut open this apple right in the middle so you can see what happened when that piece of fruit fell. I'm going to cut it open here and try to be very careful because I have a sharp knife. When that piece of fruit fell, if you can see it, this apple is not a real good one to show you. There we go. In the middle of that apple, when the tree looked down at the broken fruit, guess what it saw? If you cut an apple horizontally, so I took the apple, and I cut it horizontally. If you cut an apple horizontally, there's a star in the middle. When you slice that apple, you see the star. So lots of times, we're like that apple in the story, aren't we? We want a certain specific special gift from God. And we want something special. And sometimes God gives us instructions for how he's going to give us those gifts and we miss it until something happens 
like that apple falling on the ground, that we realize what special gift God gives to us. And God determines the gifts he's going to give to us so that it is the best. God determined that that apple tree was not only going to have stars, but it needed to have the green leaves and the red fruit for that particular kind of apple, because that's what God deemed as best. And when we can be thankful and grateful and rejoice for what God has given us and allow him to do his work, we can shine just like stars in the middle of an apple. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for helping us to know that you have special gifts for each of us. Father, thank you for each and every one of the boys and girls and grownups that come to these messages every week. Father, thank you for the special gifts that you have given to each of us through your grace. Father, help us to be grateful for those gifts and to watch for them and to be content with the work that you do in us. Father, thank you so much. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Well, guys, I have not had quite enough apples today, so I am going to have another apple and I'll see you next week. Bye.